I wanted to talk about the Jubilee, which is a time that only happens every 50 years. Gosh, so comfortable in this car. Every 50 years, there's a Jubilee, and all the debts are supposed to be forgiven in Christian society. Jewish. It's back. This is a Jewish holiday. It's not even a holiday. It's, it's a time that was set and ordained and prophesied and, you know, it's, it's this ancient time when all the debts every 50 years were supposed to be forgiven. Ancient laws of God. And, um, we just had one a while back, and none of the debts were forgiven. This Pope went to the Vatican and said, oh, well, you're all forgiven your sins. That's not what it's about. It says debts, period. Money debts. So, I was marketing luxury floors. The most expensive floors in the world. Through an Austrian company. Won't admit. Won't admit Arcade floors, wood floors in Austria. And um, so I was on Facebook for hours at a time adding up the richest people in the world. How was all kinds of things that I'd learned, some deception, some social engineering, being a detective, and just having a lot of talent in a, in a ministry, in a private investigation, just trying to work in security, and just being born at Elkins. And, um, Establishing colonial families. And so, well, I got in touch with, with Rothschild and family. Not all of them are rich, you know, but I got in touch with as many as I can. And um, I, during Jubilee, I asked them, hey, does anybody in your family have anything to do with debts being reset? And, um, this Jubilee, you know, I'm a Christian, I'm a faithful God, and I know that during Jubilee, all the debts are supposed to be forgiven. Are you going to forgive all our debts? Can you do that? Can you, do, you know, I'm asking them, and if they have the power to do that, I didn't know. They're, I mean, just because people think they do doesn't mean they happen. <clears throat> One family. So, I emailed with all of them and messaged them and said, you know, forward this to whoever can, you know. And one of the guys from Chile video called me back, and I missed the video call. For all And I was like, wow. And then Jubilee was, the day was over. It wasn't Jubilee anymore. And by that time, you know, it was like gone a week past. And I missed the video call. So I was like, should I just, I don't know. You know, I don't want to, I didn't know this family. I messaged it back. Sorry I missed your call. You know, maybe it wasn't meant to be kind of thing. And uh, I just, you know, wanted to honor the whole jubilee, you know, and, and uh, thought I'd message you and see what you have to say, I just, kind of thing, you know, and, um, so, that just went by, you know, he didn't go back to me, and I never got back to him, and then, you know, all these people. 
people panicking online. Oh my God, they're getting a reset. They're getting a reset. And they're supposed to be Christian. But that is Christians are supposed to believe that all the debts were supposed to be forgiven. Everything's supposed to be reset. What is wrong with that? Why do they not want that to happen? It says they hate money in the Bible. And they're like, oh my God. I'm supposed to worry about tomorrow. What today should bring forth. Money, wealth, anything. Oh my God, they're going to reset everything. Every debt was supposed to be forgiven. All of it. Just like your credit report every seven years, you know. Um, but this is every 50 years. All your debt. Your mortgage on your house. Was supposed to be forgiven. Every debt. So. Those who don't believe. That's what the Bible says anyway. For those that do. If you believe. That. That. that, that things shouldn't be forgiven reset and forgiven after missed that haul when 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 ha maybe this is like a, a second time maybe this is the maybe they haven't been doing it for, for centuries and you follow the leaders of that isn't that against Christ it's against the Bible it's not just about sin like the Vatican tried it on Jubilee Oh, we're forgiven by everybody's sin. You know, they aren't forgiven for their sins just because the Pope says. You know, I mean, they don't even love God. They don't care. Christ died for the whole world. The whole world didn't care and didn't know Him, so they don't get to receive that that grace until they convert. It's simple, you know, a little bit of faith, a little bit of belief in Christ, and uh, you know, you just confess that Christ. Uh, you know, they, they have faith in Christ, and God announces you in His, his kingdom. You know, like becoming a citizen of heaven. You come, you move to a country. You know, become a citizen. It's kind of that way, but you become a citizen of a different kingdom, one that rules over all other kingdoms. All your debt is supposed to be forgiven. On Jubilee, every 50 years, every family is suffering right now because they mortgages on their house, and you know, it's not good. It's not good. Everything about money lending is bad, and all our debts, the whole country's debt, every country's debt that they had that they set up, they should have known it was a Jubilee because there's a lot of Christian in Judeo, and there's the Pope, and there's all that, and there's you know, I mean. Should have known. Should have, every 50 years they're gonna have when they set up these loans that countries, you know, pay back for revenue to build up their GDP, and they got a 50-year time period between the Jubilees. Not to try, you know, you know, you got a 20, 25-year loan or 35-year loan or something like that. You got it in between the 50 years, you know, not 100 years or something. When you get started too close to the Jubilee, you're just, you gotta accept if you give a lot, you know, you should be not giving a whole lot of loan money out and unless you want it not paid back because you should be forgiven those debts on the Jubilee. If you're claiming to be a Christian leader or, you know, one of God's servants or somebody wise about God, God's ways or, you know, whatever. And, so they can be atheists or whatever, or they can be hypocrites like evangels <clears throat> who are money lenders, bankers, lawyers. Like Gary Elkins of Texas, who was the technology committee, Gary Elkins, during the tech boom, became uh, chairman of the technology committee writing laws over technology laws and stuff. And he owned 
a bank, a uh, payday loan bank, and a credit card company. So, and he's Pentecostal, and he says, Assemblies of God, which is like, they believe like Kenny Copeland and all that, you know, the Billy Graham and Pentecostal. But he's got a, a money, a payday loan bank. And the whole Bible condemns money lending that way, you know. Unless it, you're not doing it for profit. You know, you're supposed to lend money to those in Christianity who can't pay it back. Because they're the people who need it. Because if they had money to pay it back, they wouldn't need a loan. But that's the way. That's the way you're supposed to be living as a Christian, not like a payday loan guy. Because, you know, usury is, is condemned. Money lenders are not good. Um, but anyways, all our student loans and all our mortgages, and they're all complaining about stupid people wanting the student loans forgiven and this and that. But all that should have been forgiven at the Jubilee. And that was just a while ago. You know, it was just some years ago, not too long. And so, you know, I had gotten in touch with the Rothschild family. And I had talked to them online when I was marketing luxury forests during the Jub Jubilee for Won't Admit Design in Austria. And I social engineered and did everything I knew how to do is from learning to be a detective and having talent, having music skill and, and just being on Elkins. And I asked them, you know, hey, this is the Jubilee and um, I don't know your family's faith or like your daughter, but if you're in Jubilee, you know, um, all the debts were forgiven, you know, and I just wanted to ask if, if you guys had any, anything to do with forgiving the debts, you know, is that something you're going to do or can't do for us, you know, and I don't remember exactly how I wrote it, and I, one person, we're not rich, we don't have anything to do with that, we just work on charity, that's <laughs> a rock child, maybe, and then, um, Another um, one from Chile video called me, and I missed the video call and went back and forth, and it wasn't going to work. So I guess it's just not meant to be. I so I left it alone and said sorry. You know, I was just trying to honor the jubilee and um, just hoping maybe you might know more about it or have more more to do with it than other people. You know. So, But never happened. And every the whole world is all, oh my god, it's gonna be every set. Holy no, no. And, and they claim to be Christian or Catholic, right? But what a wonderful world it would be if all our mortgages and debts and everything else and credits, cards, and everything was forgiven. Ooh. Wouldn't that be like God? Oh, so loving and kind and gracious. 